Today I'm going to demonstrate how to bring in a DEM ASC file into Open Roads to create a terrain model, how to create a scalable terrain model and create a terrain model from that in Open Roads, and eventually mm -hmm. how to create a Geopack tin file from that terrain model. I'm going to go into a 3D DGN with my interface set to Bentley Civil Imperial, the one delivered by the product. I am using Power Geopack Select Series 3, the latest version, .674. The first thing you need to do is you need to go into your tools, product add-ins, and you got to activate the carts. Keep in mind you need a license for the carts. Once the carts has been activated, you will have under your file pull down the scalable terrain model tools. I'm going to open that and I'm going to create a new STM or scalable terrain model. So I'm going to type in new, whatever name you want to use. Save that. You can check your general settings, the level, color, and you can set your geographic information from here. Or once you create it, you can right click it and you can select from library the geographical coordinate system. I'm going to go to the library, projected, North America, United States. Uh, this one happens to be in Texas. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select one of the coordinate systems and accept it. Now our scalable terrain model is ready for us to add points to it. So we're going to use this elevation source editor to a file, add points from a raster DEM file. That will list the ASC files that you downloaded from the USGS website or any other website. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and open that and click the import button. This will take about a minute or so, depends on the size of the data. And once you bring it in, you have to generate it and then let it generate and create the scalable terrain model that we're going to need. So our scalable terrain model is now showing on the screen. There's one more step we need to do here. We need to select it right click and we're going to click on export scalable terrain model to terrain model this will prompt us to accept or reject the selection as you look at the bottom left on microstation i'm going to do a data point on the screen and now our terrain model has been created and we can now use our open roads to go ahead and set a feature definition for it. You can select any uh, surface feature definition that you like. Uh, you can go ahead and locate the elements and accept it. Reset to complete. And now you will see that it will take the symbology of the element templates for that. Now this is just a regular terrain model, a civil terrain model in open roads we can select it with our selection tool and now our little pop-up will come up and we can click export to a geopack tin it's going to ask us for the name of the tin file you go ahead and click save and our tin file has been created and you can go ahead and do all your geopack tools or anything else you want to do with that tin file. Thank you very much.